misconceptions about restorative justice that I have found throughout my advocacy work is that it is an easy way out for the perpetrator. I believe this possibly stems from a public perception that it will immediately result in a reduction of a sentence if criminal proceedings are a progress at the same time, or that it adds no value if criminal proceedings have never taken place. Restorative justice is often used by countries as a way of diverting young offenders away from crime, and it is in this context that a sentence can be impacted. However, to distinguish this entirely, in serious crime cases, restorative justice often takes place when an offender is already in prison, and even, as happened for me, when he or she is on probation. It isn't to be used as an alternative to criminal justice, but as an additional mechanism of justice for the victim. There is no easy way out for, for the perpetrator during a restorative justice process. He or she must acknowledge the harm they have caused the victim, and they must face up to the truth and impact of their actions. From my own experience, I know that it was only hearing the impact of his actions from my own mouth that he ever fully understood the harm that he had caused, and I don't believe there was anything easy in hearing that.